He's got some great updates for you right now to bring to you a thousand dollar stimulus check for a state. Actually, it's a five hundred and a thousand dollar check, but you're gonna have to wait. I gotta, I gotta give you a little suspense before I tell you about it. Also, a Mayor Lightfield twelve point five million dollar plan to give away one hundred and fifty dollar gas cards and fifty dollars transportation, public transportation passes to people, as well as guess what? The House passed a $55 billion COVID aid that they just passed. We're going to talk about that. This is amazing stuff as they're getting ready to head into the spring break to party like a rock star. Although our politicians, uh, I don't think they hit Lake Havasu or party for spring break. I think they just have it and go home and maybe collect, count their money. I don't know. What do you think they do when they go home? At any rate, my name is Andrew Cartwright. Welcome to the show. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Cover everything with your personal finance, Washington, D.C. to help you make money or get out of the hole, which a lot of people have fallen into the pandemic hole, or you just had inflation. Just eat your lunch with SSI not being enough or SSDI not being enough or the EBT. At any rate, a lot of people are struggling. Let's just face it. But we do have some stuff today, some good news to tell you about the economy, what's going to happen with those checks. I am also would love you to join the channel. Please, wouldn't you just think about subscribing to the channel? Yeah, wouldn't you like to be a part of the group? Just smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and put in a comment. And guess what? You just entered to win $2,000. I'm not kidding. I'm giving away 200,000, I mean, $2,000 when I hit 200,000 subscribers. So all you got to do, subscribe to the channel and like the video and put a comment in. It makes such a difference, believe it or not, with YouTube. When you like the video, it's something. It's amazing that we have to ask for that. But you know, there's lots of videos I watch and I like every single one of them. If I've watched their content, I just feel that, hey, you put the time into it, so I give them a little like. That's what I do. I mean, it's the least I can do, right? It's the least you can do. Come on, help me out. Any rate, we've got a lot of stuff, $1,000 and $500 checks. We've got that 12.5. These are all the, the articles that came from. Also, the House passes at $55 billion. This is right out of Reuters. So credible sources, credible people that were covering all these different programs for you right now. This is just out uh, over the last couple of days. Um, this one, right, right pretty much like fresh off the press. So we got to cover that. Today is Magnificent Monday. It's a little breezy out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I uh, hope you'll come join me one of these days. Come visit, come vacation, come have some fun. Maybe spring break, you never know. Maybe I'll get to see you. Today is Monday, April 11, 2022. My goal on this channel is to help you guys find your money from the government or private money. I have a lending platform, which if you want to get a loan, I'm here for you. It's what I've been doing since 2009, is lending to businesses um, up to 5 million bucks. So if you need a loan, the link is in the description, 12 different programs. Fill out an application in 15 minutes, all digital. Um, it won't hit your credit. Uh, literally, you could have the money if you're approved within 24 hours. So um, it's, it's an incredible, there's no obligation to, and also we don't charge a fee. So you might, it doesn't hurt to check it out. If you need funding to expand or grow your business, um, if you're looking to learn about a business, check out my second channel. I go into it with entrepreneurs. If you like that kind of content, it's there for you. Hustles, how to make money. I've started 32 companies and I'd love to show you how to do it. I don't say that to impress you. I'm only saying that I'm the guy to help you make some money. Uh, hopefully you guys will use me all up, strip all the information out of me and you guys will just plow through life and do awesome. That would be my goal. I have a real estate program where, you know, I spend 40 grand in professional fees and have $45 million in experience and paid my dues and made millions of dollars and thought, What's the best way I could give back? Well, it's a thousand dollar program that's on sale for 99 bucks. Shores for 99 bucks for life. Lifetime access and also it's a limited time. So I've kept it. People have said, look, please keep it $99 for a little bit longer. So I have for you, you know who I'm talking about. You know the people I'm talking about. So, but first let's dive into that. All those are in the link description below as well as Patreon and those free stocks are down there. But first, if you're a resident of none other than Drum roll, New Mexico, your bank account will soon see a $500 to $1,500 deposit from the state government stimulus checks coming after lawmakers in New Mexico authorized two different stimulus check packages this year. Now, hold on, hold on, don't, don't click off just yet because 
You're not part of that. You're not New Mexico. Come on, just here. Every state can do this. Despite record oil income and growing living costs, notably higher gas prices, some of the funds coming from this measure that were voted on by the parliamentarians, that's what they're calling it, in February of 2020 is normal legislation session that they called. But on April 5th, lawmakers passed a second package after convening in Santa Fe. So they can do this in your state. A one-day extraordinary legislation session that they came out there in droves and they voted on this. A total of $1,000 will be awarded to head of households, surviving spouses, married couples, submitting jointly, they get a thousand bucks. Individual filers and married couples filing separately, um, which a lot of people do that, you guys get 500 each. So still thousand dollars per household. Those funds will be split into two portions once again. So we got two ways you're going to get paid, quote, as soon as feasible is what they're saying, end quote. The first payment will be expected. The act specifies that it will be delivered eh, no later than June 30th, 2022. This is their quote, June 30th, 2022. The initial payment will be $500 for those joint filers. Initial payments for single or divided households where they file separately will be 250 bucks. In August though, the second installment of two part rebate will be made and you'll get the remainder of the amount. The amount will get depends on your filing status, just like the first payment, individual filers who receive 250, joint filers getting $500, you get the math. You can still obtain money from the state if you don't uh, have enough money to submit taxes. So you don't file a tax bill because you're like under, you know, under the amount. Well, quote, you still get a relief payment, end quote. So don't worry about filing your, well, I mean, where you should file your taxes if you're supposed to, but if you don't, well, they got a fix for that. How many of you from New Mexico? Because I'm pretty excited about this for you guys. $500,000 <laughs> covered. Voila, boom. News. I lo love keeping you guys updated, going through all this research to find it for you. If you're not in that state, remember any state could do this in the entire country with uh, $850 billion still floating around in bank accounts. Meanwhile, another mayor, Lori Lightfield, planned to use $12.5 million in city funds to give away 50,000 prepaid cards that will cover $150 worth of gas, as well as 1,000 passes that will cover $50 worth of CTA fares. That's public transportation. Either way, it seems to go back to the oil companies, right? Like, hmm, it's not really giving it to people. Some members of Chicago Council are skeptical, though. They say that the proposal, as it's an election year stunt that would benefit oil companies without offering Chicagoans real relief from the pain at the pump. Instead, they feel like it would uh, better, better be spent on CTA safer and cleaner. I guess filling potholes or taking care of stuff. Lightfield originally plan was to open a lottery for gas and transit cards as all Chicagoans who earn no more than 140% of the median income, which would be $190,000 for individuals and $140,000 for families of four, quote, stuck in the right balance, end quote. Have you noticed, like, even with the stuff, like, people are like, man, this stuff's so complicated. A lottery would be probably a mistake. The plan represented to alter people on Wednesday limited the program to those who earned no more than 100% of the median income, which is 65,300 in individuals at 93,200 for families of four. So thank God they got rid of that lottery program because a lot of people don't enter lotteries because, well, first of all, they got to know about it. What are you going to advertise all this stuff? That's going to cost you just as much money. As always, your thoughts mean everything to me. Throw them in the comments because no, only you matter. Finally, the U.S. House of Representatives approved a $55 billion pandemic aid bill aimed at restaurants, bars, and other businesses that are still struggling from the pandemic. So if you know if your business is struggling, make sure that you do that or tell your boss if they are. By a vote of 223 to 203, the House approved the measure earmarked for 42 billion of restaurants that were applied for the aid that was depleted. I covered this. Many restaurants were so frustrated because they only got 28.5 billion. That's it. And then they were out of money. The measure, which has not yet been considered by the Senate, was moving through the House as Congress was able to embark on nearly three-week spring recess. 
So kind of interesting stuff, right? Representative Phil, um, Dean Phillips and Earl Blenemeyer said nearly 300,000 restaurants and bars applied for the grant in 2021, but only about one third received relief. Since the start of the pandemic in 2020, some 90,000 restaurants and bars have closed due to the lack of business. How does this work? I mean, does that mean we're gonna resurrect some of those restaurants, people, restaurant owners? It, it's bad, right? So this is definitely much needed relief for businesses suffering from the pandemic still. What are your thoughts about this? Do you think that they'll be able to resurrect it? Um, do you think it's just a waste of money because the damage is done? I don't know. Many people couldn't hold on this long. The government's always either, is usually always too late any rate, it's April 11, 2022. I'd love to know your thoughts. Please tell me in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. And if you have suggestions for anything in the future you would like to see covered that'll help you in your life, that's my goal with your money when it comes to finance. I'm Andrew Cartwright. Take care.